Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through all of my tips and tricks on how to apply your lipstick and lip liner and overline your lips and create this lip right here. The tips and tricks that I share with you, I've learned along the way and have really helped me. And I feel like the way that I used to do my lips at the beginning of my YouTube channel to now, it's like we've graduated. So I'm going to share all of those tips and tricks with you. And all of these tips can be applied to any lip product, any lip color, any lip shape. I'm really gonna break it down for you step by step. So I hope you guys enjoy. Please subscribe and let's just jump right in. Okay, so this is what my lips look like just as is. I've never gotten lip injections, Botox, anything like that. Um, I have thought about doing like a little lip flip, but I'm too scared. I'm just saying that because nothing against getting like lip filler or anything like that, but I just want to encourage you that even if you don't have lip filler because it is so common nowadays, um, you can still get a plump look with your lips if that's what you're going for without having injections or a lip flip or something like that. So um, makeup is fun and if that's what you're going for, then I'm here to help you. So what I like to do is use 500 different <laughs> lip products, especially lip pencils. Very unnecessary, I know, but for me, it is very much necessary. So one of my favorite products of all time is the Anastasia lip liner and let me tell you why starting with the packaging it is a classic pencil it's sharpenable it's just there's nothing better than an old school pencil for lip for like a lip liner because I just feel like it's very long lasting I think it's the most long lasting out of lip pencil formulas I like that I can sharpen it to get a very fine point which is very important for doing your lip liner and then the shape of the pencil, it has this like squared off shape. I feel like this doesn't wanna to focus today, but it has a squared off shape so then when you're holding it, it's very comfortable in the hands. Number one, you wanna make sure that your pencil is extremely sharp. One of my favorite sharpeners is the one from Anastasia. That's the one that I use to sharpen my pencils. I've also had like a Sephora brand one, whatever works for you but you just wanna make sure that your pencil is nice and sharp, so I am gonna do that now. Um, and the color that I'm using is Cool Brown from Anastasia. This is a lot deeper than my skin tone. This is kind of like a light, like a milk chocolate sort of color. If you have a deeper complexion, this would be the perfect nude. For me, this is gonna be my contour shade. I think what you wanna find is like a dark, medium, and light shade to work with your lips, so I feel like we go in depth with contouring the face, bronzing the face, adding color to the face, and then we slap on one color for the lips, which is a vibe. But for me, I like to do the same thing to my lips and then they look extra like, you know? So I like to hold it like I would a normal pencil and I use my pinky as a balance point. I will touch my actual face with my pinky to make sure that I'm more sturdy. I will lean to get more sturdy. So what I like to start with, with my lips in particular, is I like to overline right down here and I will overline right up here. The very corners of my mouth will be on the actual natural lip line. If you overline all the way over here, it's gonna look fake, it's just, it just is. So you wanna make sure that all the way in here in the corners of your mouth, you're right on that lip line. I would say I start to overline maybe here, but I wouldn't even think about that because then you're gonna end up overlining too much and it's gonna look crazy, I do it all the time. For me, my up, my upper lip on this side gets wider and then skinnier, so I have to correct that, so just don't pay attention to that because that doesn't actually really matter that much for you unless you have other corrections, so I'll just show you, I'll just show you how I do it. So I like to start in the middle on the bottom for me, that's just the easiest, so I'll go right on the lip line and you can see I've got my pinky on my chin because it just makes it more sturdy. It makes it so that you're not free handing from over here and then you're gonna be like all wiggly outside of the lines. Um, I used to work at Sephora. I was the operations manager at Sephora years back and every day before we started a shift we had to learn something. We had to watch at least one to three educational videos before we stepped on the floor. And I remember it to this day was an educational video from Makeup Forever on how to apply lip liner. 
And the number one tip and number one takeaway that I got from that video was to rock your pencil. It's a lot easier to do that than to just go right away and try to make the perfectly straight line. Because if you go and try to draw one straight line on your face, it's gonna be wiggly. So if you go in with a light hand and kind of just rock it back and forth, it's gonna create a nice smooth line. And then you can add more pigment so that it looks darker. And then you've got the most perfect dark line that you are looking for and you can control the deepness of that line because you'll start off lighter. I hope that made sense. I'm going to show you. So start here and I'm rocking back and forth. I'm on the line and I'm going to go a little bit under. And I just stayed right there. I didn't go outside of that. I didn't get carried away. I didn't go too far down, but I also used my pinky as that balance point. Now I'm gonna connect this to the corner of my mouth. Now I've got my mirror so I can see this up close. I'm gonna open my mouth just a little bit. I'm not going like this. I'm just opening it a little bit. Because I'm accessing the left side of my face, I'm moving my chin to the right so that I can get that area better. It wouldn't make sense for me to look this way and try to do it because then I won't be able to see what I'm doing. So I'm turning my chin to the right and I'm laying this flat. So because I want to really get that line to be able to fill it in, I'm laying it this way. So when you turn it on its side, you get to use all of that pencil right there instead of just the tip of the pencil. So I'm gonna lay it on its side. I'm taking the very tip of the pencil right in the corner of my mouth. And I'm dragging. And it meets over here. Now to just correct that a little bit more, I can go in with my pinky on my face and just rock it back and forth. Just to get some more precision. Super, super easy. Same thing with this side. Now I'm turning my chin the other way, leaning this flat against the lip. Doing small drags until I meet the other line and now I'm going in right on the tip and just adding more color to it. Now I'm laying it on its side and kind of dragging that color inwards a little bit more. And then you can use your finger to blend that in and get that fade. There you go, that's the base for the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing to the top. So now I'm working on the right side of my lips and I'm gonna turn my chin to the left and I'm coming at this from below. I've got my mirror right here and I'm just rocking. I've got my whole hand like resting against my face and I'm just rocking and I'm staying with the line of my natural lip line. Doing the same thing to this side. And I stopped at the Cupid's bow. What I like to do now is I open my mouth and I make sure that there, see how there's like a disconnect right there? I like to open my mouth and make sure that there's no disconnect. And so now, I'm gonna continue this and I'm gonna do the Cupid's bow part of the lip. So same thing, you wanna rock. You don't wanna go in and just try to draw the perfect like curvature. You wanna rock back and forth and work with that shape. Kind of hard to tell on camera, but right here, my lip line actually comes out a little bit further. So I'm gonna fill that in really quick because it's gonna help me fill in the rest. I'll keep this in so you can see if you have the same kind of obstacle with filling in your lips. 
but this is a layer. Like that right there is my natural lip shape. It goes out like that. So because of that, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, build that up there. And now I'm gonna connect this line and mirror this. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And now I'm just gonna build on that just a little bit more just to give me a little bit more plumpness, but I'm not gonna bring it all on the sides like that. I'm gonna keep it right up on the Cupid's bow. So another favorite lip pencil of mine is Oak from MAC. Um, the only thing I don't like about this lip pencil is the texture of the MAC lip pencils. I feel like they're very dry, where the Anastasia ones are very, very creamy. These are a little bit more difficult to work with. So I'm gonna sharpen it, make sure it's nice and fresh. And this, I'm just gonna lay on its side. And this is just to blend the deeper shades into the center a little bit without bringing the deep color all over because I'm not looking for this color lip all over. I do wanna do a more light to medium nude for my skin tone. This is gonna help blend that out. You definitely don't need this second product. You could just go in with your lipstick after this. I feel like adding in these extra shades help to build that depth and dimension to the lip and make it look extra plump, so. I'm gonna lay this on its side and just fade the product in. Like so. You can use your finger for this. I'm just gonna use a brush. Um, this is the Refer number two brush, any kind of flat brush. Um, you can use a lip brush. I like eyeshadow brushes because then you get more surface area. I'm just kind of blending these in together kind of just like mends them into my lip and makes it so that the product feels a little bit thinner on my lips instead of like built up. And to me, this helps it last a lot longer on my lips as well. Now we just need the final step. We need a little bit of brightness in the center. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lip, oops, one of my favorite lipsticks. This is Oshi oh Single from Patrick Ta. And I'm gonna pop this in the center. And I'm gonna layer this over top of the deepest shade, Cool Brown. And that is the final lip look. I love this because I feel like it looks like I just slapped on one shade of lipstick, maybe a lip liner, but I think the key here is adding in multiple shades to create more depth. And then if you add, you can add like a little like light peachy pop to the center if you wanted even more depth and you can add a gloss to really give it some shine if you want. It really just depends on the look that you're going for, but this for me is my go-to and I I just love the way that it looks and I feel like it works for every look that I do. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I like to overline my lips and draw them in and make them last. I feel like this lip lasts quite a long time and then when it wears off, it wears off in a nice way. So even if I don't have these exact products to touch up with me while I'm out, which I rarely do that, I'll just slap on like a lip balm or a lip gloss and it kind of just like gives me a more natural look but whatever's left over on my lips just mixes with it really nicely and I just love the way it turns out even later in the day. So I hope you guys like this. If you end up trying out my tips and tricks, please tag me on Instagram or let me know down below in the comments. Let me know what other how-to tutorials you'd like to see from me. I have just been really getting the itch to get back into makeup-y type of content. So let me know what you wanna see when it comes to how-to videos. And that's it, thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you soon.